Hi, this is Stacey Chalemi, the founder of the Complete Herbal Guide. I'm a speaker, a health coach, life coach, and epilepsy coach, and I focus on empowerment, helping people release the power within them so they can overcome obstacles in their life. I also have a podcast called The Advisor with Stacey Chalemi, where I have experts come on and give their advice to teach people how to move forward and live a happy, healthy, and productive life. Today, I want to talk about five things that I wish I knew before I went into the big world, having to live with a disability. It's difficult when people have a disability and they have to also try to reach their goals in life. And I've always been a high achiever and it's been hard when, uh, when you have a disability because disabilities give you limitations and it's hard sometimes to achieve what you want when you have limitations in your life both emotionally and physically. So the first thing I wish I knew was that when you get into the big world, you're going to have highs and lows. Life was like a roller coaster ride. Sometimes it was really uh, hard and sometimes it was easy. Sometimes I felt like every time I went two steps forward, I got back, knocked back three steps and it was frustrating. But what I realized is that not to give up that take a problem and look at the problem and don't take the word problem out. Look at it as an opportunity to strengthen yourself and make a better person out of yourself. Learn from these obstacles that you encounter. Make a person like yourself a stronger person so you can move on and achieve better and greater things in life. Don't let living with a disability hold you back because you have what it takes to move forward in life and make your dreams a reality. Two is trust people that have achieved higher levels than you have. A lot of times people with disabilities become insecure and they have a hard time taking constructive criticism or advice from others. They take it in a negative way, thinking that oh, that person doesn't know what they're talking about. They think I'm stupid. Well, that's not the case. When I focused on listening to others who have achieved higher levels than I did, I looked at it as an opportunity to make myself a better person. These people were, were at where I was and they did certain things so they could reach higher levels. I was actually very excited to hear what these people had to say because I wanted to be where they were one day. So if someone is at a higher level than you and they're willing to sit down or talk to you or give you advice on how you can improve your life, your career, everything about yourself, anything they have to say, take it in and use it to your advantage because advice like this doesn't always come very easily. So if someone at a higher level is willing to help you, take their help and don't feel bad don't feel like they, they think you any lower. These are people that know what it was to be at your level and they're grateful for what they achieved. Now they wanna help others like yourself. So take that opportunity and use it to your advantage. Number three, try to find a good friend or confidant. It's very important when you have a disability to find somebody that you can talk to. Life can be very challenging especially when you're trying to reach for higher goals in life, or you're just trying to get by on a daily basis. You need that one person that you could talk to who will sit there and listen and even give you constructive advice or just even put their arms around you say, I understand what you're going through. I might not be going through it, but I can feel you. I could feel your pain and frustration and I'm here to help you. I want to be here to support you. That's the kind of friend that you need. And that's the kind of friend that can help strengthen you and bring you to higher places in life. From as long as I can remember, I was always an independent individual. Having a disability, growing up with a disability, and then even becoming an adult, it was very hard when my disability was at its worst to ask people for help. I hated asking people for help. I was an independent woman who wanted to do things by myself. I didn't want to have to rely on others. And having to ask others 
made me so upset inside, so frustrated, so angered. It just made me feel horrible. But then later on in life, I realized that the people who wanted to help me cared about me. When people offer their help or you need help, don't be afraid to ask for help. People are out there who are good people who want to help you and want to see you succeed. These are the people that you need to focus on. It's okay. We can't, nobody can do things all by themselves. We all need that person to help us get through life. And when you need help, don't be afraid to ask for it. There are plenty of people out there that want to help. All you have to do is ask. One thing I learned is that there still is a lot of stigmatism in our world. People fear what they don't understand. And there are a lot of people with chronic illnesses, and it's very visible. You can see that they have an illness, they have a disability, and sometimes people treat them with sympathy instead of empathy. And that's one of the worst things that you could do because a person with a disability wants to feel just like everyone else in society. And when you look at a person and you look at them with sympathy or you treat them with sympathy, it bothers that person. They want to be on the same level as you, and they are. They just have some diff difficulties in certain areas, but nobody is perfect. And I think people have to realize everybody has something. So just because you have a disability, it's okay. Everybody in this life has something wrong with them. And there's also a lot of people that have invisible disabilities where they look fine on the outside, but they're not as fine as you think. And if you see somebody acting a little differently, don't be mean or cruel and say something that's going to hurt them or laugh behind their back because you don't know what that person's going through. I have epilepsy. Nobody knows that I have epilepsy unless I told them. But when my epilepsy was bad, there were some things I couldn't do. And when they were trying to get me on the right medications, you know, a lot of the side effects weren't good. And I didn't act all that great. And my memory wasn't all that great back then until they got me on the proper medications. So if you see somebody that not acting right, don't make fun of them. Don't treat them differently and don't be cruel to them. And if someone is being cruel to you, the person who is receiving this ignorant behavior, don't let it get to you. Because if someone's going to be that mean or cruel, they have a problem. It's not you with the problem. Thank you so much for listening to these five pointers. I hope I helped you. And I look forward to talking to you in the future. You can come by my website, thecompleteherbalguide.com, or you can visit me at stacychilemi.com. I'm always here to help others because I want to see people improve because it wasn't for so many people coming out of the woodwork to help me. I wouldn't be where I am today. So thank you and have a great day.